And <laughs> Senator Connie Leva is here to say hi. Hi, Larry. We're here to talk about health care. Health care is a human right, not a privilege. Thanks for I am here. so glad to hear you say that, Connie. Absolutely. Right on. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Thanks Welcome. Uh, I know that there's probably some questions, and we have our nurse uh, expert here to answer that. And what I want to say to people, because it has stalled in the assembly, it's just stalled. I believe in my heart that we're going to get single payer done in California. Yay. If I don't happen tomorrow, it's going to happen. And part of it is a groundswell of folks saying, hey, we need this, and understanding what it means so that, that way everyone is entitled to <laughs> I want to also welcome you. We're so excited about having this event. And I got to tell you that for me, the best part is always knowing that I have a great partner with Senator Connie Leva. Um, and as the Senator indicated, just because single payer is now a two year bill does not mean it is dead, because it is not dead. It is something that the Senate and the Assembly will continue to work on. So that there, there are issues with the bill that need to be resolved. And for all of us to vote on it, we really have to make a, a an informed decision, and that's what that's what we need. We need all that information, and we're going to get it. We have the California <coughs> Nurses Association, we have the Senate, we have the Assembly, we have all of our experts, and people are working on this, and I'm excited CNA, about it. California Nurses Association, and uh, just do a little shout out and thank the nurses for really leading the charge on this. Is this particular document online? This is the analysis of SB 562, the California, uh, Healthy California single payer system. And we just got it a couple of weeks ago um, from the nurses. And so I'm almost finished with all of it, but um, I would look for it online because it really lays out how the, what the, how the proposal would work. Bringing everybody on board. Those of us who have been lucky enough to have health care, my parents had good union jobs. I had a good union job. I'm willing to wait longer at the doctor. I'm willing to pay more in taxes. But is everyone? Is everyone? So I just think I know we can do it. I have no doubt about it. We can do it. But it's not. It's not going to happen if we don't have a public campaign that brings everybody in. Not just folks who don't have and are willing to say, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that my brother and my sister has health care as well.